shoot around, but the focus and understanding how important this game is to open up league play is so important. Yeah, energy is great, but it's nothing without that focus and without that execution. So for today, we have Karen Priato, Billy Smith, Ashley Gloss on the call for today. Clemson starting out, getting a turnover from their 2-3 zone, and you see Ruby Whitehorn, the we talked earlier today in the shoot around, without a point guard, uh, NC State, how are they going to be in that half-court offense? With five on the shot clock, how about Zania Rivers on cue, stepping up for the track. McDonald's All-American, and Brooklyn history to come in, and she's been a huge force. How about that? And it's back iron. And how Clemson deals with the length on the perimeter from the guards defensively for NC State, as you see. Quick turnaround. I think that was more of a heat check. Can't get that one to fall. The Collins is a player that can hurt you from inside or out, as you see Nunu Bradford there. Gets in the passing lane there, disrupting the pass. It's pretty perfect man is able to get an easy deuce on the left side. Deja Bradford has been one of those constant players and consistent on the defensive end, putting both sides together so far for Clemson. Open shooter, Madison Hayes. Hustles and gives him opportunities with rebounds and steals, so good to see her uh, on the board offensively for NC State. Averaging about eight points as quickly. How about Amari Robinson we talked about? And that's good for them because Camille Hobby's not going to come all the way out there. If she can continue to hit that, it would be good for them. Fast-paced game as another bucket goes down. Nakia Brown-Turner with a lot of time. Short on the shot. Deja Bradford in a burst, getting all the way to the rim. Had a little bit of contact there, but is able to get the two. Well, Clemson creating opportunities for themselves. And you see Bradford here on the fast break. Try to block me if you want, Tania Rivers. Since the level of pressure from the Tigers is being in their spaces, Mimi Collins still has a hot hand from how she started the first quarter. Averaging seven points per game, and she's already hit that mark. And a quick response for Clemson, but doesn't hesitate if she's left open. So you've got three subs on the floor here with Kiana Gaines, Douglas, and Ott. Trying to find some offense for Clemson. Again, just steady. So Amari Robinson now has six points. Would you ever guess that all of those points would be coming from distance? She has that ability. Has not shot a whole lot today. And then... So Dakia Brown-Turner gets the pick six. And a nice little Euro step to finish it off, but I tell you what, Deja Bradford, I don't think you can ask. First 15 points for UConn was scored off of NC State turnover, so they've got to take good care of the basketball. That's you, and how they're running in the passing lanes. My goodness, Bradford, have yourself a night. Less than a minute to play. Another steal by Bradford. She might have a triple-double to close out the first quarter. And the end one. They talked about getting in the passing lane. They talked about tips today and deflections and getting their offense high possession from their defense. And it's a slugfest every single night. Has been the answer for NC State, but they need a little bit more of it. to work with. Robinson all the way to the bucket and gets it. Coverage for women's basketball that a lot of players now take for granted. And really know one of the greatest coaches she had was just saying how the women's game is going to go so much as River Baldwin is able to beat the buzzer on that one. Coming into this ball game, she only hit four trays. Knowing that's been her focus, she's already hit two tonight. Got to make the adjustment. Beautiful pass on the inside by Rivers. Final game for the holiday break. Four seconds on the shot clock. Maddie Ock drains it. James, who is red hot against Davidson, gets the old board and Mimi Collins with 11. Three straight starts, had 19 points against UGA as well. 
He has been on fire, scored five or more points in the last 10 games and continues to trek it. Whitehorn, you know, one of my teammates as a response to our opponent's scoring. Nice high low available there. River Baldwin, had to readjust in the air, and gets the two. Robinson slow to get up. Rivers dishes it off to James. He saw that a time or two against Davidson. You know, breaking down the whole trader. section, right? My own breakdown. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Five lead changes in this ball game as NC State builds on that. 11-1 run for the Wolfpack over the last four minutes. Brown Turner almost coughed it up. Three seconds on the shot clock. James! She only had five shots in that first half. And that's that's not enough for her. She's the second leading scorer for, for Clemson. You talked about that. When they score, they're allowed, they're, they, it allows them to set up their press. How about the beautiful touch from Camille Hobby? A really interesting thing. Bradford started off playing really well. You know, she's going to continue to take those shots and see a really nice layup there by Hayes. Stay. Five on the shot clock for Clemson. Robinson needed that bucket. Saw her just smacking backboard, almost touching the rim. A few of those rebounds. Coach said, okay, we love to see it. But now get some more rebounds for us if you don't mind. <laughs> Pigney now with seven points. Rivers opens up like the Red Sea and gets another bucket. Eight assists, only one turnover. You know, I watched her in her very first game as a freshman, and she, quite frankly, looked like a deer in the headlights. But <laughs> the maturity and the confidence, as you see Hayes there. Hobby tried to fake on the outside. Malaysia Douglas didn't go for it. Had the forearm, and Samaya Rivers just said, uh-uh, not my house. Of NC State's on both ends of the floor. They're going to clip that off and put it on their highlight tape. Beautiful. Right out of the break. Sends it off to Hannah Hank at the top of the key. Whitehorn cleans up for the rebound, gets the bucket oh, as well. Shot. They need to get her going. Let's see why she's a Jordan Brand All-American. Stopped by James, five to work with. Beautiful dish on the inside. Inye on cue. Whitehorn just streaks through and gets the deuce. Thompson again turning up that defense. One of those players that continues to just show up. Really starting to put things together in the second half. Clemson wanted the back four. I, I think they have a point there. I don't think it was a... As the, the Brown Turner hits a shot. Three dishes to Indian. Little off the mark. Bodies flying everywhere. Whitehorn comes up. And one! Ten seconds left in the third quarter. Three-point ball game. Jakea Brown Turner could, it could extend. Yes, he does. This game has just been a game of shifting momentum for each team. I mean, and what about right out of the break? Interesting that Ruby Whitehorn is not in the starting lineup here for the fourth quarter. You've got Maddie Ott instead. He's been on both ends of the floor. A couple steals in the ball game as well. Reed dishes it off. And finally rolls down for Robinson. Her facial expression is like, nah, I got this. One more pass. Rivers working baseline, dishes it off to Collins. You bet. CC opener. You know, shooting practice today. You see tonight, Robinson getting Robinson get another opportunity. You ask who's going to be able to step up, but only one player that's averaging double figures takes the floor in Jakea Brown Turner. And they're able to knock these trays down. You know, 
know, toward the end of the conference season and going into the ACC tournament, another steal here by Hayes. Again, that length. We'll dribble this one out and we'll push it to seven straight wins. And oh, by the way, continue to protect home court and get their first win of the ACC.